Glendale, California is much sunnier place these days now that Oregon is number one. Of course, this is not news to anybody who has been following college football, otherwise known as people who don't live in the South Conference, people who don't eat potatoes for breakfast, and people who party on fabulous rooftops with celebrities. People like the Armenian Demon. UCLA. I see that none of you made it to any of my fabulous Hollywood parties last week. All through Glendale, shops' windows were boarded up. ESPN complied with my wishes to transfer the game to Thursday so that I might watch the match and then come home in time to catch more parties. I hope they left room open in the hospital for you during the week. <laughs> Your pistol is so fearsome, isn't it? Too bad you forgot to put the bullets in the chamber. Meanwhile, with the number one ranking in our holster, and the most glamorous offense, defense, and uniforms in all of college football, there is no more looking back for Oregon football. We no longer will have to win the day. We will begin looking ahead, winning two games at a time, running the score up to intimidate future opponents, and winning multiple championships in a single year. The millennium of dominance is just beginning and will be just like the last one. But feel free to keep using our retreads. Maybe Cade McNown will have an illegitimate son that you can recruit. This is an invitation to stand love. Feel free to keep your distance from the program. It seems to have done wonders so far for not only UCLA but for Oregon as well. Maybe you'll have another tubby son who can play defensive line for the USCJV. But for now, the rest of us are going to turn it into a real party. Also, stay tuned for the post-game report featuring a BCS Top 5 with the Armenian Demon and NFL Picks and special guests as well.